to show you how to do dilution problems. And the screen is mostly blank for a reason. I want to start off with something I think we've all done. And that is to dilute a concentrated solution. So let's start off with something pretty basic. Now let's say we have this container and it's highly concentrated salt water. Let's say it's uh, 2 molar NaCl. Really salty water. Okay. Say, well, I want a little bit of that, but it's too strong for me. Well, say, okay, I have another bucket here, a smaller one. So I'm going to take some of this out, take some of this concentrated salt water out. So I take some of that out, put it in a smaller container, and then I put it in there. And then what I add to that new volume is some water. Or you could simply take this, tip it over, and put some in the new container and then add some water. But the point is, that what I'm trying to point out here is we take a small quantity of concentrated solution and we put it in a new volume and then we add water to dilute it. Now, there is an equation that relates to this process. And it's right here, M1V1 equals M2V2. This is the magic equation. Now, M1, we'll designate M1 as the more concentrated solution. And V1 is the small amount of the concentrated solution we're going to dilute. M2 is the diluted concentration, and V2 is the total volume, the total volume of our new solution. Now I'll clean this up and I'll formalize this in the next slide here. So. Here I have the same sketch, but with some formal writing. Designate M1 as the starting molarity of the highly concentrated solution, and V1 as the volume of the concentrated solution that will be diluted. Designate M2 as the final molarity of the dilute solution, and V2 as the volume of the dilute solution. I'll do a couple of problems and hopefully this will make a bit more sense. This problem reads, determine the concentration of a 250 mL sodium chloride solution if 25 mL of a 2 molar sodium chloride solution was used to prepare the solution. In this equation we have four variables. And in the problem, we're given three numbers. Let's see if we can figure out what it is that we have and relate this to the equation. Well, 250 mils is the volume of the dilute solution. I know that. Well, we're preparing this 250 mL solution by using 25 mL of a concentrated solution. So that means if I had a flask and it was 250 mL, the idea was is that I would put in there 25 mils of the concentrated 2 molar NaCl solution. Oops, 50 milliliters. Then what I would do, but this is not stated in the problem, is add water. 
it's understood that one would add water to dilute a solution. So, as you can see, I've somewhat identified my M1V1 and my M2V2. M1 is 2 molar, the concentration of the more concentrated solution. V1 is 25 mils, the volume of the concentrated solution we're going to dilute. M2 is the unknown concentration, the concentration to be determined. V2 is the volume of the new dilute solution, which is 250 mils. So let me clean this up a little bit, and we'll plug in some numbers, and we'll make this equation work for us. So 2 times 25 milliliters, 2 molar times 25 milliliters equals M2, which is our concentration we want to find, and V2, which is the 250 milliliter of the dilute solution. So now solve for M2, and that's 50 divided by 250. Multiply 2 times 25 to get 50, divide that by 250, and you'll get 50 divided by 250. And that equals 0 0.20 molar. So that is the concentration of the new solution. I want to point out here that the volume in this equation, in the M1, V1, M2, V2, the volume doesn't need to be in liters. But what needs to happen is the volumes need to be of the same units. It could be in milliliters, it could be in liters, it could be in microliters, but it's very important that the volumes be the same units on both sides. I'll try another one. This problem reads, what volume of a 12 molar HCl solution should be used to prepare 500 mils of a 1 molar HCl solution? Let's see what we have here. We have a highly concentrated solution of HCl, 12 molar. That's pretty darn concentrated. And we have a less concentrated solution, HCl, 1 molar of HCl. But it seems to me we have two concentrations, so we have both of our molarities. So N1 is the highly concentrated 12 molar solution. And M2 is the dilute solution, 1 molar. We're asked to prepare 500 mils. If we're asked to prepare, that seems to me our V2 is going to be 500 mils. And so V1 is our unknown. This is that small quantity of the highly concentrated solution we're going to take out and dilute. So if we draw a picture again, let's say here's the bucket of the 12 molar. The question now is how much of that concentrated solution do we take out and pour into the 500 milliliter flask. And of course we're also adding water.
So, V1 is our unknown. So if we solve for V1, we'll set it up. 12 times V1 equals 1 times 500 mils. V1 equals 500 milliliters divided by 12. And that equals 41.7 milliliters. So that means we'll have 41.7 milliliters in this little volume, and we're going to dump that in our 500 mil flask and dilute with water. I want to point out that we never need to know, we never need to know the volume of the total volume of the bucket that has the concentrated solution. We don't need to know this. What we do need to know is the small amount that we take out. We're always going to assume we have plenty of concentrated solution, but we don't need to know the total amount that we have. The only thing we need to know is how much we're going to take out and use. I'll make up a couple problems and let you try them. Here's a problem I'd like you to try. How many milliliters of a 2 molar iron 2 chloride solution is needed to prepare 250 mils of a 0.25 iron 2 chloride solution? Pause the video, give it a shot. So this is what I come up with. M1 is the highly concentrated solution of iron 2 chloride, which is 2 molar. V1 is the amount of the concentrated solution I'm going to need to dilute, which is my unknown. M2 is the concentration of the diluted solution, and V2 is the volume of the diluted solution. So I set up the equation over here to the right, and I solve for V1, and I end up with V1 is 31.25 milliliters. I want to point out something you could do as a mental check here, that if you end up with a volume, in this case, if the volume that was determined was greater than 250 milliliters, something's a little bit amiss, because you're proposed total volume of the diluted solution is 250 mils. If you determine that V1 is something greater than 250 mils, something went astray. So we'll go back and redo your calculations. Because you can't put more than 250 mils in a 250 mil bottle. I'll give you another one to try. Here's another problem for you. 5 mils of a 6 molar iron 3 chloride solution was used to prepare 100 mils of an iron 3 chloride solution. What is the concentration of the 100 mil solution? Give that one a shot and come back and check your answers. So in this problem I find that M1 is 6 molar V1 is 5 milliliters, M2 is the unknown, and V2 is the 100 milliliters. Setting up the problem, solving for M2, I determine that the dilute concentration is 0.3 molar.